Hello everyone. This is the second tutorial in Scilab tutorial series and in this tutorial I am going to discuss integer data type. So in Scilab we are having three different versions of integer data type int 8, int 16 and int 32. So the difference between these three is in terms of their size. So the first int 8 actually allocate 8 bytes in 16 16 byte and in 32 32 bytes so let's see how to make a variable integer so let's say i want to create a variable a and i i want to make it integer so first i will use int 8 and then i will write value so if you will look at your variable browser a new variable will be created with name a uh, type will be integer and the uh, data size is 8 and value if you will see the value you will find 1 multiply 1 so what does that mean so in scilab everything is a matrix okay so when you see 1 multiply 1 so this is actually the order of this matrix so right now this variable a is having only one value and here it is represented as a matrix with one row one column so if you double click it you will see and you will see the value as well you will see the that this will be displayed in a matrix format okay so we are not going in details for this notation so uh, once we created a variable and if you want to see we want to display what is the type of this variable so you can use int type a so now when you have used int type a it has shown one what is the meaning of one so if one is displayed it means this is an integer data type and data size 8 in case of 16 it will be 2 in case of 32 it will be 4 so let me show you let me create some more variables so now I am having a b and c is a data type in 8 b in 16 c in 32 so let's print the data type int type b int type c so in case of integer 8 int type will show 1 in case of 62 it will show 2 in case of 32 it will show 4 so these are the value which denote what type of integer you are using. Now, apart from these integer data type, we are also having unsigned version. So what is the unsigned version uh, in variable where only positive value you can store? So unsigned integer variable in a we are also having three types. These are uint eight, uint sixteen, and uint thirty two. So now I want to see what is their data type value. So let's print a. So in the previous case when we have used int 8 this function has displayed 1 as a type. Now in case of unsigned integer what will be the value so it is 11. Similarly for 2 it will be 12, for 4 it will be 14. So if we are going to display type of unsigned integer with 16 byte it will print 12. For C, it will print 14. So you need to remember if you are using integer data type, if you want to find out their data types, you can use int type function. So this function will be having six different values. These values are 1, 2, 4, and 11, 12, 14. So 1 represent integer 8 byte, 2 represent integer 16 byte, and 4 represent integer 32 byte. And in case of unsigned integer, 
11 represent unsigned integer with 8 bytes 12 represent unsigned integer with 16 bytes and 14 represent unsigned integer with 32 bytes thank you very much for watching